Right, it's time for Super 6. Sorry. Yes, if you haven't got involved with Super 6 yet, now's the time to get involved because the next time is going to be for a million pounds. It's been an incredible rollover. It went to, two, well, it was at 250, went to half a million, went to three quarter of a million. Now it's at a million pounds. So if you're not involved with Super 6 yet, now's the time to be getting involved. It's free to play. Link's in the description. You have to be 18 and over. T's and C's apply but it's free to play and you got a free pop at a million. All you got to do is predict six score lines. And we're going to be predicting in this video, the Champions League draw has been made. Unfortunately, not as exciting as the FA Cup draw where both our teams are yeah. still in it. Yeah. But this is the draw, Rory. No bias though. That's the only good thing. I think people listening, maybe we can come at like We're naturally going to come at the FA Cup with a bias. Whereas with this, we have no dog in the fight. Our Arsenal fans will say differently, I imagine. <laughs> but the draw is Atletico Madrid against Dortmund. PSG against Barcelona, that old classic. Arsenal against Bayern Munich, that old classic. And Real Madrid against Manchester City. God, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's a, a great, great it's, draw. It's the kind of, you know, if me and you could have picked the draw with yeah. some hot balls. Yeah. That's the draw we would have picked. Almost Bayern definitely. Munich for Arsenal, Real Madrid for City. And with the winners of by an, uh, with the winners of uh, Real Madrid, Man City waiting for Arsenal if they happen to fluke it through, mm. which is good. Mm. you got a feeling about Harry Kane, innit? Before will, we get into predictions yeah. and all that. Well, what, what will happen? I've been saying this since... You said it from the start yeah, of the from season. from the start. <laughs> and it could still happen and Arsenal could still go through. I'm not saying that Arsenal won't go through, but I'm saying that Harry Kane will score home and Harry Kane will score away against Arsenal. I've been saying that from day dot and I think it will happen. He's in electric form. He's broken records. And he's going to love the opportunity of coming back to play against Arsenal, isn't he? Put himself in the spotlight. Also, do you know he's been playing really well for them? Mm. Eric Dyer, man. And you know he hated Arsenal. Mm. Like he openly hated Arsenal. So it's a fantastic tie. Arsenal fans will love the idea of Kane mm. getting beat um, because of the Tottenham links and that. So no, it's a great draw. Are Arsenal fans confident for this? The ones I know are. Because I try and avoid Arsenal fans. The ones I know are, yeah. The ones I know. They're, they're really confident in their team. I don't think it's about are they confident against Bayern Munich. I think they're just confident Wasn't in their team. Of, uh, was it? Apologies if I've got this wrong. I think it was Rubby. Bring up Real Madrid. And all yeah, that. I'm sure. I'm I mean, sure. You bring up Real Madrid and it might be all over. Yeah, look, uh, the Arsenal fans I know are incredibly confident, incredibly aware of their own team's brilliance. And do you know what? When you look at the power of the Premier League, they should. They should be. You know, you know when people are getting really excited? You know, I don't know, West Ham, West Ham beat Freiburg or whatever. Of course they do. Like the power of the Premier League at the moment. Even Brighton got a win, didn't they? I know they went out, but Brighton got a win. Mm. So, um, so yeah, so it's a wonderful draw. I think Arsenal are massively up against it against Bayern. Not necessarily because of the teams, because I think the teams are quite evenly matched. You could even argue that the Arsenal team is better. I wouldn't, but you could argue that. But the nows and know-how in it Thomas Tuchel. It felt like and, Arsenal, I know they got through the tie in the end, but you know that Porto game? It felt like a team that had that inexperience at European level. Because we've, we've all seen our team mm. grow and have in different eras and yeah. have to become a Champions League yeah, yeah. team. And it's very difficult to this get This team there. of Arsenal are, are learning. Arteta mm. doesn't know how to juggle a, a, a Premier League title race alongside a European like If you campaign. look at some of their key players, were Raya, Rice, Saka. None of them played, played in Champions League. Yeah. Never played and, and, League. and also, you know, there is a very particular art form to winning away in the Premier League on a Saturday and then winning away in the European Cup on a Wednesday mm. it's not an easy skill to master and it takes time it takes mm. squad do Arsenal have the squad for it like as good as I don't know as good as Kiwior is is he good enough to, Trossard as good as Trossard is as good as Reese Nelson is Champions League mm. I don't know mm. it's, it's, it's going to be a very very interesting um, one. Um, I can't wait for these these games anyway, but let's call Madrid Dortmund's the first time we're going to talk about. Now, we saw Dortmund get through that game um, and I was thinking, oh, you know, if Dortmund got beat by PSV, I was like, you're going to see City get PSV, aren't you? I was yeah. dreading it and yeah, I was yeah. like, please make Dortmund go through. Yeah. All due respect to PSV, just so it can be a bit more of an yeah. entertaining last day. Atletico Dortmund, it feels like both teams will fancy themselves in this one. Yeah, Atletico, they both will fancy themselves and Atletico will go through, I think. I Why think. do you feel... Atletico are, are, are going to be too good for Dortmund. I mean, people got really excited about Borussia Dortmund. You know, when they play Newcastle and they, they gave them a bit of an education. Mm. Like Graham Potter's Chelsea knocked Borussia Dortmund out of the European Cup. Mm. Like Dort, Dortmund got done by Potter. Mm. You know, we, we were very unlucky away from home. We beat them at home convincingly. So... 
I don't really see that being a problem for Atletico Madrid. You think about the players that they have at their disposal and the nous and guile of Diego Simeone. The and they love these kind of ties, don't they? Mm, and look, I know that Dortmund, I know Dortmund have a, have a very impassioned crowd as well. But the Wanda Metropolitano is one of the liveliest stadiums I've ever been to. You know, you know, in Spain, I've been to two stadiums in Spain, like often Spanish stadiums, and this is not an insult at all. In fact, it's a compliment. But they feel very nice, like very welcoming almost mm. for away fans. Two that weren't. Atletico Madrid, I've been to both of their grounds. I saw Aguero score against us as well. Agro and Seville, actually. Seville fans, like, they've got a slightly English approach. You know, they're slightly aggressive, mm. slightly, just, they don't make you welcome. Like, going to the going to the new Camp, don't get me wrong, in the stadium, the police and the whatever, it's not welcoming. You're, you're put in a terrible part of the ground and that. But you're not intimidating. Mm. The wonder is intimidating. And I think that their fans will demand that they go through and I think they're they at will. home in the first leg which kind of gives Dortmund that advantage but away, away goals, goals are gone yeah away goals are gone how do you so, feel about that stupid it's, it's a bit stupid. It makes it, like, yeah it makes it a bit bit weird a bit different um, yeah stupid. But I, I suppose but look I, overall I think in that tie I, I I think it will be a draw in Germany and I think uh, in, when they're in Spain Atletico Madrid will win um, Dortmund actually looking for Jaden Sancho to kind of step up and he scored a goal for them in the in the last round against PSV. Um, I kind of think they're there off the back of they got a favourable draw yeah. against PSV. Do you know? Yeah, they're not. They're not a good and side. I think you're right. Atletico Madrid did the nous with the Diego Simeone effect. I think Griezmann over the last twelve to eighteen months has been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah, Atletico Madrid will come out of that. And I wouldn't be surprised if you're looking at two 0 first leg Atletico at, at yeah. the ground. And then it's all but so it's over, and there's a there's a there's a commendable the draw, or even a token victory in the way that Brighton beat Roma. Yeah, like, in yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see that, but I do have a feeling for Atletico Madrid. Although Dortmund have surprised many before, just ask Man United fans in '96. Yeah, long time ago, though. Yeah, Paul Lambert and that. I haven't forgot it. Long time. I haven't ago. forgot it. I don't forget about that. Um, moving on next, we'll save the two English sides for the next one. PSG Barcelona. We've seen some classics. Well, we've seen a classic. I just think I just think Barcelona will go through because it's PSG. You know you know when we've seen those dazzling PSG sides mm. capitulate? The, the capitulation, the capitulation in this exact fixture. Remember that? That was one of the most brilliant but ridiculous games of football I've ever seen. Mm. What was it? 6-1 it finished. Just like, that was mental. Mm. So I don't think Paris Saint-Germain... Since are... then, PSG have beaten Barcelona over two legs uh, oh. in 2021, just to add that to the yeah. history. I think, I think Barcelona go through though. What do you think? You know what it is? I think Barcelona are I think Barcelona are a better team. And when you look at some of their individuals, they've got some of the young lads coming through, I think they're fantastic. But PSG have Mbappe. And he seems to come alive at these moments, doesn't mm. he? He loves these moments. Like, Andreas Christensen will look after him now. <laughs> you think so? Good player. I, uh, PSG at home in the first leg. I think PSG do it. Is it PSG? I'd like to go to that, man. Paris Saint-Germain, Barcelona. In Paris? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be, be good. a good game, wouldn't be it? good. Um, I think PSG do it. I don't know what it is. I just got a feeling. I, I, really I don't think they'll win the Champions League. No, God, no. But I think, Barcelona, I think Barcelona win. I actually think Barcelona could win home and away. Really, I do. I they just did, think they had a good result against Napoli, didn't they? Mm. A really good result against Napoli. Mm. And you look at PSG came through unscathed 4-1 against Sociedad. Does that make you feel any different? Of course not. Different gravy playing yeah, Barcelona. Different, different, different. United knocked Barcelona out of Europe last season. They did. They did. I think Barcelona are a slightly better team though. And I also think Manchester Levin United Dusty. I also think Manchester United are a better team than... Uh, Were a better team last season. Yeah. As well. Yeah, you got Lewandowski up top um, who could come into his own. Jao Felix, mm. Rafinha. Yeah, I'm edging to... Uh, I'm torn, you know. I'm going to say, just to be different, mm. Mbappe. Mbappe. Mbappe is going to be the difference. Mbappe does it. Right, on to the big ones. Right then. Who we got? I mean, we got next Real Madrid, Man Manchester City. City. Real Madrid. Uh, I'd love to come out here, and I think I was at this point before City beat them over two legs before where I'd go. City don't beat Real Madrid. Doesn't happen. Can't happen. They won't allow it to happen. Mm. But I think it's different this time. Yeah, I they're think champions. Man City are just Man, Man, Man City are going there as champions. But you've got the Vinicius, Bellingham, Rodrigo. Am I? Am I persuading you? Am I am I Look, making you come around to the idea that Real Madrid... I don't need persuading to believe that Real Madrid can win a game in the European Cup. Oh, I'm conditioned to believe that Real Madrid can win games in the European Cup regardless of the opposition. 
but I don't think they will. I do think Man City are going to be too strong. I think Man City is... Who do you think will decide this title? Bernardo Silva. Do you know who? Do you know who could come alive? It's due as well. It's a Harlem moment, isn't it? Like it's due. Mm. It really is due. Um, but look, Real Madrid in the European Cup. In in a European conversation, nobody wants to play Real Madrid. Capable of beating anyone, and they are good, really good. And they have the best player in Spain at the moment, who happens to be an Englishman. Um, but no, I think Guardiola will get it right. I think Guardiola will get it right. I think it'll be really tight away. But I think Manchester City could blow them away and at home. And that's the problem. Madrid play at home. And if City go there and get a result, which is a defeat, they even a 1-0 home. defeat, mm. you think City will beat them at their ground. But you always have that hope with the Bellingham and with all that. But I mm. just think City are such a team. And kind of like, you know those individuals standing out and making a difference. It very rarely happens to City. You know where one individual yeah. wins it. But also, you know when you think about the key, like, so Vinicius, Rodrigo, players like that, there's an answer, isn't there? So if you go Vinicius, you go Carl Walker, there's an answer. And then, obviously, that's backed up by John Stones and Ruben Diaz and Rodri. Like, yeah, there's, there's some dazzling players at Real Madrid, but I just think there are answers in Manchester City, Sky Blue. So... I think this is really tight to predict. Hmm. I hope I'm wrong, but I think it's Man City win. I'm trying to do this without any kind of bias. I know, yeah. So without any kind of bias, I think Man City win. I really don't want that to be the case though. I'm going Madrid. Just penalties or something. Oh, but that's hope more than expectation. Uh, yeah. I hope. That is hope and just me trying to be different. Right. Arsenal, Bayern Munich. We have seen... Some absolutely ridiculous score lines in these over two legs. Ten. We've seen 10 2 before. Have we seen that twice? 10? Or was it ten. eight? No, we've seen 10 2. We've seen 7 1. Yeah. We've seen some big, big, hefty score lines in this. I th Is this the same Arsenal? No, no. And it's not the same Bayern. You know, the days of Ribery and Robin ripping it up are, yeah. are, are, are not, are, you know, it's not like that anymore. It's not the same Bayern at all. Um, and it's not the same Arsenal. This is tighter than that by by considerable distance. But I still don't see Thomas Tuchel getting knocked out by Arteta. I still don't see Harry Kane. Like, I think Harry Kane scores home and away. You know I think that, right? Which means that Arsenal are at least conceding two over the course of the uh, over the course of the 180. That's two. Then I'm gonna have to go some to go through if my mm. prediction is correct. They're capable, but you think about their performance against Porto, they were so average. They lost in the group, they didn't have great performances Those kind in the of group. wins, can they build that confidence? Yeah, but it's slow in the it's Champions League. <laughs> Remember, Man City were getting launched out of the European Cup by Tottenham at one and point. Leon. Monaco, Leon, Monaco, man. Hmm. So I don't think this is it for Arsenal. I don't think this is the year that they... It'll be a learning curve, big learning curve. And remember, Bayern Munich are not going to win the league. They need this. Arsenal are potentially going to win the league. As much as they need it, they're spreading themselves really thinly. I think though as well, if Arsenal have any chance of getting through, they have to win at the Emirates. Is you that don't, first? If that's first. If you don't win at the Emirates and you go there and it's like... No, no, they won't you, win. They, you, you whatever happens, win. they're not winning in Germany. They're not winning in Germany. They didn't win in Portugal. They're not are winning in Germany. Are we being unfair? Are we, are we talking about Bayern Munich's reputation? more than we are about this. Yeah, but it's re yeah, we are. It's relevant. You know, if Manchester United, the state of Manchester United, were in Europe and were playing Arsenal, I'd probably say Man United will win because the circumstance is relevant. You know, it's the state of Chelsea. If Chelsea were playing, like, also, this isn't me being anti-Arsenal. If Arsenal were playing Man City in the FA Cup as they did fairly recently at Wembley, you go, Arsenal beat them mm. because it's their competition. This isn't Arsenal's competition. Arsenal have a brilliant track record in the FA Cup. You don't want to play them in the FA Cup. You certainly don't want to play them at Wembley in the FA Cup. That year, they weren't very good that year. They beat Man City in the semi and Chelsea in the final because that's their tournament. It takes time and they've got to learn the European Cup. And with the Premier League, you know, if they weren't in the Premier League, or not weren't in, but if they weren't in competition to win the Premier League, maybe. But can you realistically see them winning? <laughs> they've won nine in a row. Their manager reckons they've got to win, or at least what another they seven. Only draw two games. Yeah, so another eight <clears throat> out of the next ten. There has to be a slip, doesn't it? Because if, if there isn't a slip, this is one of the best teams that has ever existed, <laughs> and I don't think it's that. Mm. What do you um, think? Predict each leg, not score, but 
What happens in each leg? 1-1 one, one on. after the first leg. 1-1 one, one at Arsenal. Arsenal. And then 2-0, 2-1 in the, to Bayern in the second leg. I don't think it'll be a massive goal difference. I think they lose home and away but though. I think, I think it'll I think easier than... Bayern win at the Emirates. I think Bayern win at the Emirates and then they win, win at the Emirates. God, it's all very... It's all very... Uh, the, Emirates. the stadiums are all very... So we're looking at four. For, it could be Atletico Madrid. Yep. Um, we've both gone different on the PSG Barca thing. Mm. Um, we've both gone different on Real Madrid and City. So we're thinking Atletico Bayern are shoe ins, mm -hmm. and then one of Real Madrid City, one of PSG Barca. You guys let us know who you think's right out of us lot. And of course, don't forget to join our Super Six League as well. The code is Club23. The winner of the Club League gets a £100 classic football shirts voucher every single week. Um, and at the end of the season, the winner will be playing for us. Uh, the damn. Amazing.